Uh, good morning, everyone, and thank you for being here. Democrats have been trying to get Robert Mueller in ever since he issued his report, the Mueller report, in April. Um, and they really think that they just need to get him in front of the American people to explain what he found because they think that Americans haven't read the Mueller report. Well, there's going to be two hearings back to back. The first will be the judiciary hearing, which is much larger, um, for three hours, and then the House Intelligence Committee, um, which is smaller, for two hours. And they'll be on different subjects, um, mostly, although they'll obviously intersect somewhat. Um, the Judiciary Committee will be looking more at obstruction of justice um, in that portion of the report, which is volume two of Mueller's report. Um, and the Intelligence Committee will be looking at um, Russia, the Russian contacts, which was volume one of the report. Now, I hope and expect this to be the only time that I will speak to you in this manner. I am making that decision myself. No one has told me whether I can or should testify. I think one major point of questioning um, on both sides is going to be the fact that Mueller has essentially said that the president cannot be indicted. Um, and so Democrats are going to try to get him to say, you know, whether how important that decision was and when he made it. Republicans are really interested in the timeline of that. When did he decide that the president couldn't be indicted? Because some of them will try to make an argument that the investigation should have just been fully shut down um, if they decided that the president couldn't indict, uh, couldn't be indicted. So um, I think that will be a major point of questioning on on both sides. And, and I think the Democrats will use it to try to show, well, he did all these things, and if he had been a private citizen, he would have been indicted for obstruction of justice. Mueller is unlikely to say that, but that would be sort of their ideal scenario that he would. I'm not going to be watching, probably, maybe I'll see a little bit of it. I'm not going to be wa watching Mueller uh, because uh, you can't take all those bites out of the apple. Yeah, Mueller is sort of a, a, a long time. He's a by-the-book guy. He's, he's not um, a very animated witness. I think people who've watched his previous testimony, he's, he's testified dozens of times on the Hill as FBI director and, and just over the years. Um, he's not a very loquacious guy. No one is expecting him to go on and on. There might be a lot of yes and no answers. Um, he was very reluctant to testify. He gave a press conference in May in which he really basically said, I don't want to testify. I'm not going to say anything beyond what, what you already know. So it will be interesting to watch um, how Mueller reacts to what is going to be very animated questioning and a lot of very well-prepared questions designed to get information out of him. Please note that your written statements will be entered into the record in their entirety. So more than 80 Democrats have called to open an impeachment inquiry um, just to hold hearings on impeachment for Donald Trump. Democrats are hoping, Democrats who support that effort, are hoping to see more of those calls after this hearing. Um, Nancy Pelosi so far has said that she is not interested for now in impeachment. Um, so it's unclear if this hearing will change that dynamic. Um, some Democrats are really hoping that it will. Full advantage of the attack when it came. The descriptions of obstruction of justice in volume two what Democrats hope is that they're bringing the report into the American consciousness and that they get people, um, you know, to to see what they see, which is egregious behavior on behalf of the president. Republicans are hoping that this all just goes away, that this is the final chapter in the Mueller report. Um, I think it remains to be seen. As I said, I think that when they go back for August recess, we'll see how the American people respond. Um, are they going to pressure their lawmakers to move for impeachment or to do more than they're currently doing. Um, I think all of that remains to be seen. And I think Nancy Pelosi, who really controls a, a lot of this, will be watching all of that. Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, do you believe that your message